they calve out about 8,000 cow calf and they keep just about all their bulls together in one place. It's just absolutely amazing. Sunday afternoon again, me and Finn are on call, cutting deads and taking names. They're more like tag numbers. We'll see what else I can get up to, but I think it's just gonna be the day of the dead. I just cut into this guy, made my first incision, and I got a waterfall. So this guy likely has peritonitis, and this is all peritoneal fluid coming out. These also came flying out too, just sheets and sheets of fibrin. Mama always said, don't go chasing waterfalls. This is our peritonitis, all opened up. You had a large abscess capsule in the ventral portion of his body. That peritonitis is super nasty. I couldn't even describe the smell that he smells. I think it went through my gloves. Well, I was sitting in my truck, put my camera on the fence post there. I'd say that was definitely worth it. I was laughing so hard watching these guys come up, try to me mess with it. What a nice scenery shot and cows are super curious. All I got was nose. Next time. Just pulling up to our last call here. Got a few more post-mortems to do. Oh man, cull cows are so much harder to PM than calves. Oh. I usually get to cut through calves' ribs just with my knife because they have a very small, soft costochondral junction that I can cut through. These cows, you gotta use the ax. And it looks like I have some fibrinous pneumonia and there's so much fluid in there. It's just spraying me everywhere with that ax. Okay, back at it. I was super, super worried about this pen of cows or actually it's a whole feedlot of cows. What had happened was is they were, a bunch of them were dying of bovine respiratory disease, fibrinous pneumonia, and cows typically don't die from that. So I had made a recommendation for them to go on a in-feed antibiotic for for seven days in order to see if we can't clear up this huge pneumonia issue that was going on. What happened was, is in order to simplify things, I had recommended that all the cows should get a 40 ration. So that means a 40% concentrate ration. And some of those cows were on a lower ration, but in order for them to, uh, for the feedlot to make their lives easier, I, I said it, it would be okay for them to go on that 40 as long as they got that CTC. So yesterday when I came and looked at those cows, looked like they had a pretty bad bout of grain overload. And then today at this feedlot, I had five animals dead. So I was worried that I had killed them all with grain overload because of my recommendation uh, to step them up and concentrate just so they could get that that uh, antibiotic in their feed. Thankfully, it's still a big issue though. We have dead cows, but it, only one had died due to grain overload and the rest were pneumonias. So now that antibiotic is in the feed and we shouldn't get as many anymore. And uh, yeah, feeling a little bit of relief. The quintessential cow vet experience is working a full day and then standing in line at the grocery store wondering, hmm, I wonder if anybody can smell me. 